Hey, what's up? I'm Nate, and today I'm gonna teach you how to make DIY bottle cap pins from stuff you probably have around the house. For our supplies, we're gonna need pliers. We're gonna need some bottle caps. We're gonna need some can tabs. We're gonna need some safety pins, big or small. I use small. Paints and brushes, and we're gonna need some Mod Podge. All right, let's get started. So the first step is that we're gonna take those pliers and we're gonna bend the can tab just a little less than halfway. The objective here is to be able to bend the can tab just enough so that when it's secure inside of the bottle cap, you can fit a safety pin through it. All right, now that we have that done, we're gonna take that bent can tab and we're gonna place it inside of the bottle cap. The orientation doesn't matter. Now that we have that all finished, we're gonna take those pliers again and we're gonna start to bend the edges of the bottle cap all the way around the edges of the can tab. I always start with the edges of the can tab first and then make my way around the rest of the bottle cap, but you can do it however you want. You just wanna make sure that the edges of your bottle cap are super flat and super secure. Here's what it should look like. Now that we have that done, we're gonna take that safety pin and we're gonna thread it through the open part of the can tab. And here's what that should look like. If it's a little loose, you can always line it up in the grooves of the bottle cap and it should stick pretty well. So now that we have that done, we're gonna take a base color. It can be whatever base color you want. I chose black. You just wanna make sure that you paint the entire bottle cap, making sure to get those edges really, really well. Um, and you know, ooh, here's a sick transition for you. Okay, so once it's dry, we can get to the fun part. I always browse Google or Pinterest for inspiration when I'm starting to paint bottle caps, but you don't have to. Once you have your design picked out, you can start to paint. I chose to do a little gravestone. Um, but just keep in mind that the simpler the better because this is a really small surface that you're working with. So the simpler the design, the better the outcome will be in the end. Once that's done, you can seal it with Mod Podge. You can use whatever you have. I had dishwasher safe on hand. Making sure you get those multiple coats on there to make it last a really long time. Um, sealing all the edges along the way as you go will also make it last a really long time. And here's our finished product. So once you have your finished product, you can kind of use it to decorate whatever you'd like. I chose to put this one on my bag because that's where I thought it looked the best, but you can do whatever you want with them. Um, you can put them on hats, bags, jackets, vests, whatever your heart desires, really. The important part is to have fun with it because it's something that you made and you should be proud of it. Okay, I really hope this was a helpful tutorial, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!